You arrived just in time, my friend. I just received an invitation for a trip to the Duchy of Whiteridge. It's located in the north. The snow never melts there, and the region is quite unique. Also, you'll find Cedar Town within the Duchy. It's known for its grand celebrations that are held every winter. Not to mention there's a hot spring inn that's open all year round. You've been running around for so long, this is the perfect opportunity for you to relax. You deserve a vacation. There is a matter that needs to be dealt with in the Empire. I've already sent Valen ahead, and I'm just waiting here for reports of any information. The Heroic Order can handle this matter, so you don't need to worry. Like I said before, you've been on the road for a while now. Why not take some time to rest a bit? Think of this vacation as a gift from the Heroic Order. So how about it? Are you interested? Hmm? You never change. I know you love traveling. You can find a ship at the docks. After a few months of sailing, you'll pass through the Stormy Strait. There will be a large port nearby, and it's all blue waters and clear skies. <laughs> it's actually quite stunning. However, it's been a long time since I've been there. I hope everything's as beautiful as it was. Oh, I want to see the sea! And the snowy mountains! Magister, let's go right now! Chippy wants to see Cedar Town, White Ridge, and. well, everything! Hey, calm down! The Magister hasn't said anything yet! If you're worried about finding a ship, the fisherman at the docks will take care of it. He'll find a way to take you out to sea. You're going to have a great time. Have a safe journey, my friend. Oh, it's you again. Tell me where are you going? The Heroic Order has already paid for passage. We're going to Cedar Town in the Duchy of White Ridge. General Hogan said we would pass through the Stormy Strait. My boat can't take you out that far, but the General has already made arrangements. I'll take you all to the frigate that's waiting for you, and then you can tell them where you want to go. All right, let's head out. And don't puke in my boat. There's a small island here. Otherwise, we would have drowned. Did you see that? The fog just came out of nowhere. I mean, the sky was clear just a few minutes ago. And now we're in the middle of the ocean. How could this have happened? I'm just a little dizzy. But I'm all right. 
Chippy's helmet is a little crooked, but it's all right. Yes, first mate reporting. No suspicious creatures in sight. It should be safe here. Navigator, are you talking to me? Uh, we have poor visibility because of the fog. Other than that, all seems well. What should we do now? Our ship is sunk! Alright, Chippy will scout on ahead! Magister, Hammy, you two try to stay safe! Chippy hopes we won't be trapped here forever! We're not the only ones who had bad luck at sea. I wonder who left this boat here. Chippy, what do you think? Can we still use it? It looks all right. Just a bit of damage, but we can fix the holes with some wood. But should we really use this boat? Look, it even has a strange symbol on the sail. if the symbol is a claw or a bone. I know this is someone else's boat, but we can still borrow it. Can't we? Yes! We can finally leave this island! Uh, if we stay here any longer, Chippy is going to catch a cold. The sudden fog? The reefs here? And the abandoned boat? This place is a little eerie. Let's go find some wood. I think it's best to leave this island as soon as possible. to depart? Wait, the fog hasn't cleared up yet, though. Yes, you're right, Magister. Heroes aren't afraid of anything. Let's set sail right now!
Lady, wake up. Are you all right? Really? <laughs> you didn't seem like you enjoyed choking on seawater. Who are you? Why were you drifting out there alone? Uh, I'm sorry, but I only saw you. But hey, it's high tide right now. They might have washed up nearby. Why do these things always happen to me? Hey, can you move? Look, you can follow the coastline all the way down, too. Yeah. Forget it. Let's look along the coastline together. be your friend you know your friend isn't human right mind your manners human i'm hammy a hamster familiar she's my magister manners don't bring much coin around here but you can call me simba god of the waves what have you brought me magister do you see chippy anywhere You're missing someone else, huh? Magister, let's go find Chippy. I bet he's fine. He's just washed up somewhere else. Yes, that must be it. The waves always center around the docks at this time. Your friend could have drifted to the docks. <sighs> Why am I always meddling in other people's business? Look, lady, you were lucky to survive that storm. That means something. So, next time, share some of that luck with me. All right? Anyway, what are you still standing here for? Let's go to the docks. You have someone to find. Is Rustport. I can't believe you came here without knowing anything about this place. We were planning to go to Cedar Town for the festivities, but when we were sailing there, a fog appeared. Then a huge tentacle came out of nowhere and upended our boat. I get it now. But how can anyone sail through this fog? That's what we did, though. Anyway, do you think Chippy will be in the city? All we can do is look around. There are several docks we can check. Hopefully, Tritonus took pity on him and had him wash up here. Who is Tritonus? You don't know? Oh, right. You're outsiders. Tritonus is the god of the waves and wandering. A lot of us are seafaring folk. So many of us believe in him. I see. Well, I also hope he blessed Chippy and that he's safe somewhere. Hey, pal. 
Catch anything today? Nothing alive. A bunch of dead fish and stuff. It seems that another ship was attacked. Who's that behind you? Just a couple of land lovers. One even has whiskers. Hey, what did your lost friend look like? Shippy's around my height. He's wearing armor and a helmet with a feather on top. Whoa, this thing can talk. That's amazing. How much do you want for it? Sorry, i just never seen anyone like her before. Um, you said someone in armor, right? I wouldn't hold my breath. You'd probably drown swimming in something like that. No way! Chippy's fine! He's fine! Do you hear me? All right, all right. Thanks, buddy. I can't believe that man said that! The nerve! I mean, he does make sense. I was gonna say the same thing. What? You too? All right, all right, calm down. I found both of you alive, didn't I? So, you never know. There are other docks in this city. Maybe your friend washed up somewhere else. When there's a shipwreck, we try to save as many as we can. Let's see. Let's head over there. the wrong person i'm not a part of the water whites i don't know anything stop lying tell the truth and we'll go easy on you you're wasting your time talking to him just take him away got it luca what's going on is someone getting kidnapped in broad daylight it's just the carmine whispers trying to catch sea stingers The Carmine Whispers is the gang that controls Rustport. You saw the roses on their chest, right? They run this place. We call spies sea stingers here. The Water Whites have been sending them to get information on the Carmine Whispers. It's a turf war between the Carmine Whispers and the Water Whites. They've been mauling each other like a pack of sea wolves. You're outsiders, so obviously you don't know. Hey, you're the one who asked. The Water Whites actually already lost their turf war with the Carmine Whispers and were driven out of Rustport, but they're trying to get back in. The Carmine Whispers are trying to find all the sea stingers in the city. In short, there's a blood feud going on. If you're involved with the Water Whites, you're gonna end up like that guy. Or even worse. Well... Luckily, we don't know any Water Whites. Let's just find Chippy and leave the city. I don't want to stay in this place for an extra minute. It smells like an open sewer here. Yes, it's lucky you don't know any Whites. Otherwise, your pretty little heads would be worth a lot of money to the Whispers. Let's keep going. There's another dock to the right after the bridge. You know him? This sea rat has a name? Chippy, wake up! He's not moving! And his complexion is pale! Hey, he might have drowned. You need to give him mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth? I don't even know what this thing is! Chippy is not a thing! We're familiars! <laughs> Please! Wake up, Chippy! I don't know what to do either. Do you have any other ideas? Yes. We can use magic, Magister. If we had a breathing tonic, Chippy would definitely get better. Great. So, where do we find one of these things? Um, there 
mostly sold at qualified apothecaries and magic shops. If you have the materials, you can craft them yourself using a mortar and pestle and sometimes a crucible. I don't really get it. All I'm hearing is that he needs medicine. There's an apothecary in the upper district. I'll head there now. Someone's life is at stake. Wait! I'll go with you. You won't recognize what we need. Ornick, do you sell tonics here? We need a breathing tonic. We're trying to save a friend who drowned. Those tonics were sold out a long time ago. Mages and apothecaries haven't been able to come in since our ports have been blocked for a while. Look, my old crucible is covered in dust. I'm planning to get rid of all this inventory. The store needs to change. I might start selling gear instead. You can go somewhere else for tonics in the future. Oh, are you an apothecary? Really? Then my store is saved. We don't have time for this right now. You don't need any of these things, right? We'll take it all. Wait, I, I was gonna sell these. You just said all of this was junk. You should be paying us to help you get rid of everything. Look, someone's life is at stake. Stop dawdling. Oh, forget it. Yeah, take what you need. Magister, I found the ingredients we need! We can make the breathing tonic and save Chippy! Remember? We were sailing out at sea, and we saw a distant light through the fog. We all fell in the water. The Magister and I washed up nearby. You got caught by the waves and washed up here on the docks. That light we saw was this city. We're in Rustport. It's Sinbad. Thank you. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have found Chippy. Hey, no worries. I've saved plenty of people from the sea. You're just adding to my monthly quota. Where's our boat? Chippy still wants to go to Cedar Town. Just be thankful you're alive. You're in no condition to be out at sea. Plus, no one's gonna lend you their ship right now. Do you remember the Carmine Whispers we saw? They've closed off Rustport for a while now. No one's getting in or out of this city. As for why, you already know. The Kraken that threw you into the sea is causing havoc around here. It's been living right off Rustport. No matter how strong your hole is, that monster will rip right through your ship. No one knows, but it started appearing after the Graveborn pirates attacked Rustport. It also appears with that weird fog. Oh yeah, and that thing sings too. Its voice makes me feel like my soul's being sucked out. The Whispers fought off the Graveborns, but there was nothing they could do about the Kraken. No cannon is big enough to hurt that thing. Well, they're the only ones fighting the Water Whites. Having someone like that is better than nothing. Otherwise, 
Rustport is going to be called Deadport soon. Wait a minute. If no one could leave, aren't we stuck here? Welcome to Rustport, where everyone's stuck and we have a monster as our neighbor. There must be a way out. Magister, let's go ask someone. Stop it right now, Chippy. You need rest. All right, a place to rest. There's the Golden Guest Inn in the lower district. They have a dirty sign outside in the shape of a wine glass. Thank you for the information. Let's go there right away. Come here, Chippy. You can lean on me as we walk. the night. One of our friends isn't feeling well. <laughs> money first. Um, we seem to have lost all our money when our boat sank. I don't do charity. You can go outside and find a shack to sleep in. Hey, bulls. These are my guests. Let's talk privately for a minute. It's you again. Who are these people? I found them at the beach. Look here. All right, I understand. Yes, please, take good care of these friends. Well, you came just in time. The kitchen just finished cooking. Grab yourselves something to eat. Oh, we don't need to pay? Well, I don't usually do good deeds, but Sinbad convinced me. Bulls and I go way back. You guys can stay here. Go get something to eat. I gotta go. Thank you so much, Sinbad. too much. We all need a few days of rest. The innkeeper was nice enough not to charge us for all of this. We need to thank him before we go. You all look like you've been resting well. Oh, hello. We were just talking about you. Enough pleasantries. It's time for you to pay up. What? Didn't you say yesterday that we didn't need to pay? Because of Sinbad, I let you stay here on credit. No one ever said free. You also ate all the fish that was meant for the Whisper's boss. And now you want to skip out on the bill? It's a signature dish of the Golden Guest Inn. Dame Dangler Dobe. What? Wasn't this a free breakfast? I mean, it was just left out on the kitchen table. When is anything free? Even the old planks from the docks are worth something. Pay up or get me a new fish. Don't be so mean. It was just a fish. It wasn't just a fish, you flaming mudfoots. You ate a Dame Dangler. 
They only appear in Blackwood Lock this time of year. They're very difficult to catch. Either pay up or get me that fish. Otherwise, this sea rat stays and works off your debt. What? Chippy! You, you scoundrel! Chippy hasn't even recovered yet! <laughs> I'm the scoundrel? Who's the one not paying their debts? Give me what I want, or I'm calling the Carmine Whispers. Hey, take it easy. I'm not gonna do anything to this rat as long as you get my fish. Why should we believe you? The Golden Guest Inn has been operating in Rustport for 20 years. My reputation speaks for itself. Me and this inn aren't going anywhere. How do we know what you're saying is true? We don't even know if these dame whatevers really exist. Go outside and ask anyone in Rustport. Dame Danglers are native to waters around here, and the boss of the Carmine Whispers orders one every week. Yes. If it's so valuable, why did you leave it on the kitchen table? You did that on purpose, didn't you? So what if I did? Did I ask you to eat my fish? Either pay up or get me another one. I, I can't believe you're doing this. No, Magister! Chippy doesn't want to see you get hurt. After all, there are so many of them. We can't leave you behind, Chippy. Don't worry! Chippy can take care of himself. Chippy is a knight, remember? But... Don't be discouraged, friend. If you catch this fish for the Carmine Whispers, you may even curry favor from them. So hurry up and go fishing. If you really want to beat me up, at least get me that fish first. Hmm. After we catch that fish, we're coming back for Chippy and then... Ah! I'll be waiting. find the Dame Dangler right now. Yes, he needs to give us an explanation. Help me! I need your help! Shut up! Either pay us or die! No! Stop! A battlefield more merciless than the frigid winter- Get behind me, children! Every sword is a witness. That's the first time I've ever seen a mage fight. That was amazing! Are you all like that? Does that mean I saved someone really important? Sinbad, what happened? Why were those people after you? They even had their knives out. Eh, I just owe them money. You have to understand, the locals are tough around here. Like how you tricked us into staying at that inn? And now Bowles is keeping Chippy hostage! Huh? Wait, calm down. What happened to Chippy? Bowles 
said we owed him a lot of money. We couldn't pay, so he kept Chibi hostage and told us to catch a fish in exchange. Didn't you say that Bowles was your friend? Instead of taking care of us, he swindled us! I didn't expect Bowles to treat you like that. This is my fault. Don't worry, I'll help you. What kind of fish does he want in exchange? A deem dangler. He said it was for the Carmine Whispers. Ah, it's for them. This won't be an easy job. That fish is big, mean, and tough. I guess that's why the Whispers boss likes it. I'll take you to Blackwood Lock. You can only find Dame Danglers there. All right, I'll go find a fishing rod. Let's meet near Rustport's Northwest Gate. You saved me just now, so the fishing rod is on me. Consider us even. I'll meet you when the sun sets near the Northwest Wall. Here you go. I got the fishing rod. You're gonna have to find the bait. Dame danglers like to eat fresh worms. They can be found around the shallows of Blackwood Lock. Remember, sometimes you have to follow the fish's shadows. You may have to chase the fish a bit. Most fish like to hide around this season, but that may not always be the case. Just try your best. Uh, hey, friend. Living in Rustport requires all sorts of learning. I got something I need to deal with, so I'll check up on you later. You can exit through this gate and follow the road south. Then you'll see Blackwood Lock. The Dame Dangler will be big and has a light on its head. You'll know when you see it. I'll see you later. I wish both of us luck.
victory feels like.